Billy Beige here. I came across a video today simply asking, where are the Haya Godzilla toys at? This was by Seppi the Nomad. Um, well, I wanted to answer the main questions of that video. One, what happened with Godzilla pre-evolved? I'm not calling it re-evolved. And the Mama Muto being pushed back to quarter two of 2024. Okay, follow me on this. The basic steps, like very basic, don't nitpick me here, to a, to making a toy are sculpting, prototyping, production, packaging, and delivery. Usually, barring a number of variables, a brand new toy takes a year to a year and a half to get from an idea to our hands. With pre-evolved Godzilla, he looks to be the same sculpt as the Heat Ray, the Godzilla vs. Kong, the King of the Monsters, etc. Godzilla. So it's a repaint. It should be faster to get production running again and out to us. Well, the translucent Heat Ray Godzilla took four months for overseas sellers and almost six months for those of us who ordered through Big Bad Toy Store. Chinese New Year stops everything, production, shipping, etc. And for a month, so that's why it was six months instead of five. Pre-Evolved was put up for order at the end of February 2024. There's no way it was going to get through production and shipped in a month. It's arguably the most accurate MonsterVerse Godzilla right now, so there was definitely a high quantity order, so that makes production steps take longer. And they are, they're more likely uh, started production once Chinese New Year was over and everyone's back to the factories in the first week of March. So... Four to five months is what we're looking at. So like July, August is when we'll probably end up getting pre-evolved Godzilla in our hands. Mama Muto was up for pre-order in August of 2023. We saw her at SDC in July 2023. That's only about eight months. She's a completely new sculpt, new tooling, and new problems. That first run of Haya Godzilla figures had issues, and they definitely don't want that to, have, that to happen again with the Muto. Also, it's the only official Muto action figure, so again, it definitely had a high order quantity too. This next question was, why isn't there a pre-order for Godzilla X Kong, Beast Glove Kong, or Scar King? This one is less complicated. Haya Toys doesn't sell waves. They solicit one figure at a time. Well, for every Muto, Rodan, or Mothra, they gotta sell a Godzilla, and they gotta sell repaints. Why? Godzilla makes profit. Repaints reuse that tooling and get more profit out of that tooling. New tooling for a figure is not cheap. The ballpark estimate for a unique new 112th scale action figure, just a normal action figure, is $30,000 and up. And Godzilla helps pay for that. Seriously, counting the very first Haya Godzilla before the reissue, we're at 10 Godzilla figures out of 21 kaiju figures from Haya. So before we get Beast Glove Kong, and definitely before we get Scar King, there's got to be another Godzilla, another repaint, or enough profit from Shinmu to pay for that tooling. But... Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please hit that like button. I'd like to get 100 likes on this video. I, don't, I haven't got 100 likes on anything yet. That'd be super cool for me. But tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell me if you want more content like this. Because I didn't have to spend 50 bucks on a figure. Even though I already have and have a bunch of pre-orders looming. Uh, this has been Billy Beige. I'll see you in the next video.